Hello everyone and welcome back to another, a very exciting chess game by the magician from Riga, Mikhail Tal. And in this chess game, his opponent was the two times Bulgarian chess champion Dimitar Donchev. So this was a chess game from the Yerevan chess tournament from 1986. So let's see what happened in this chess game. Mikhail Tal, who has the white pieces, starts the game with knight to f3 and this is the ready opening. Knight to f6 and then c4 and this is the English opening. And then g6, knight to c3, d5 and this is the Grunfeld variation of the English. <coughs> queen to a4 by Mikhail Tal, bishop to d7, blocking and queen to b3, d takes on c4, queen takes on c4. Bishop to g7, g3 and black castled. Bishop to g2, queen over. So black wants to play bishop to h3, exchanging the bishops. Tal castled. And before doing that, black wants to defend his c pawn, so c6. But I didn't understand the purpose of this move. In this position, developing the knight should have been considered, and this would be a better move. So developing moves is most of the time better. Uh, this should have been considered, but we have c6 and Tal is immediately swings his queen over to the king side, a very aggressive move. So black pushed the pawn defending on g5 and Tal played d3 liberating the bishop and attacking on h6. Black played g5 and defending like this and there is nothing wrong with this move but against Mikhail Tal this could be dangerous. Tal played a Mikhail Tal move. He played bishop takes on g5, typical Tal sacrificing the bishop and all of the sudden, according to the computer chess engine, black is actually better in this position after capturing the bishop. So the computer engine gives black minus point advantage. So h takes on g5, accepting the sacrifice and Tal captured on g5 and only the knight on f6 is defending the checkmate threat. So knight to e4 is also possible in this position. So bishop to f5 extra defense and then f4. Tal is planning to play e4 and then pushing the pawn. So knight to h7, queen and knight combination around the king side could be deadly. So black wants to get rid of the knight. And Tal played g4. If bishop takes pawn that would be a disastrous blunder because of queen takes knight checkmate. So knight takes on g5. G takes on f5 and black is defending the knight. So defending an inferior position against Mikhail Tal could be extremely tricky. You have to defend always accurately and we all know that one mistake is all it takes. One mistake, one blunder, one bad move against Mikhail Tal is all it takes. So this is why playing against Mikhail Tal was extremely nerve-wracking to say the least. Tal played rook to f3 and look at this position. White has a very flexible attacking position. He can, uh, White can play rook to h3, rook to g3 and then queen to h6, knight to e4, adding one more attacker. So there are those moves are all possible and defending is very tricky. And in this position, eliminating the knight, bishop takes on c3. But Tal played rook to h3 and how do you defend the checkmate threat? So if queen takes on f5 then bishop to e4 and black is in trouble. So bishop to d4 checking the king but after e3 black resigned. Unbelievable chess game by the magician from Riga. So right now actually white is two pieces down but black is getting checkmated or black is losing heavy material. So the possible continuation of course if knight to f6 queen to h8 checkmate so if queen takes on f5 then bishop to e4 so black has to give up the queen bishop takes on h7 check and then queen takes on h3 advantage for white white is winning so okay this was the very exciting chess game of Mikhail Tal so a typical chess game of Tal with lots of sacrifices risky play amazing play and finally he has managed to defeat his opponent, the two times Bulgarian chess champion Donchev. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.